hello guys so today's video i'm going to be discussing with you guys my son's um school transition how he has settled overall in the primary school aspect and how it's going so far so i can confirm that my son is now officially in year one he's in year one he's still five years older um he's still he's in year one as of september and 2024 and he is doing great and i'm going to share with you what we went through during that transition from reception to year one and what the school did in order to also help us to be at ease with the new teacher that they're going to be received in july 2024 we were told who our child's year one teacher is going to be and we were told that she was a year three teacher and she chose to be a year two teacher which was quite nice to hear and that our child has been around her during after school clubs breakfast club and etc so our child was um familiar with who will be his teacher during the transition of him meeting the new teacher in july i had asked him you know who would be your new teacher he was able to clearly tell me who her name was and um make some funny jokes etc obviously children make fun of people's names so much it's unbelievable but my son's a joker just like me so we just were like okay cool so anyway he felt comfortable to tell me who she was and how the teacher has helped him during breakfast club and etc so that was very easeful during the, the transition because um, i get very anxious when it comes to transition especially for my son i know that he will adapt into it okay but i think it's me i I, I panic like, is he gonna set a wall? Is he gonna like the teacher? Is he gonna, you know, it's, it's always is, is, is. And I've learned that let him be in that unknown scenario in order for him to adapt because the fact of life is always unknown. So that was amazing for him to tell me a bit of, a bit of information of the new teacher. Um, any common challenges that my son would have faced i don't think he had any struggle in transitioning into year one only because he was aware of what was about to come as in like following the rules um being kind um sitting down doing our work homework and so it was more a structured environment for him and i think he would have adapted very well and um he he's he likes routine just like me i think i got into a routine at such a young age and i like routines as well but for the purpose of this video we're going to be discussing about my son in regards to common challenges that children could face during transition into a new classroom could be the unknown meaning that um the way it's structured could be different it's not the same layout as reception because with reception obviously it's more like early years based it's more play through learning wells Whereas um, when it comes to year one, it's more structured. You need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. So I believe, you know, um, my son didn't have any issues in adapting into that environment because he knew that it's going to be structured only because we discussed this during the summer holidays and he was asking lots of questions and I was able to answer his questions. We were able to also watch YouTube videos of classroom set up layouts and what is expected of him when he enters into this new year and we had a academic review there which is like parents evening we had it on the second week of september of 2024 and how i knew my child has settled into the new classroom and how i knew he was my son was that he became the teacher so during the <laughs> meeting my, the teacher was like you know she called me she was like mom your son needs to understand i am the teacher not him <laughs> and i was like yeah that's my son. i just we just laughed it off because i knew that was him he's such a leader like he he likes to follow rules so it's so basically this is what happened he basically tells the children what to do if the children are not listening he'll tell them you need to stop talking you need to listen to the teachers you need to sit down you need to do this and I was like, oh my gosh, that's me. That is so me. That is so, like, that's me in him. And I was like, yeah, that's my mini twin. So the teacher was like, yeah. My t the teacher was telling me, um, you know, you know, your son um, is the teacher, <laughs> but I'm the teacher. And I was like, you got a competition there. But um, 
so obviously we joined the meeting she was saying to that my son now he's like she was like okay but i would tell the children of oh, not you and i in my head i was thinking you guys are gonna clash because my son um he likes routine as i've mentioned he likes routine and if things are out of place it doesn't irritate him but it's like you need to do what you need to do if that makes sense which i think it will benefit him in life as well in a positive way and also in a negative way depending on the scenario that he's currently in but and during the academic review you know the teacher was like having a structured routine for my son had really benefit him more because he's learned to follow routine he's learned to listen he's learned a lot with the routine because he knows at this time is this time at this time is this time if things go out of place it's like why is he, you know pinch so the teacher was basically like this structure has benefited my son and i was like thank you so much you know you know for being his teacher and getting to know you so that was really good at first i was like in my head why are we having academic review the school just started this is me just in a panic mode but um um angel was like do you want to know what your child is doing this is that and i was like i know i do but i don't want to go at the same time it's like it's just school just started but anyway when i was in there it was a thing where we're getting to know the teacher face to face which was very wonderful because we can discuss with the teacher our concerns for our child and how we can best obviously work in partnership with the child in order to um help them develop more in their academic year of schools um yeah so we got to know each other we discussed the concerns um what targets are set for my son and how we can best achieve it and etc um overall her prediction prediction her prediction prediction her goals for my son she set it in a way where he will be able to achieve it and i was very happy and amazed to hear that because i felt as if she already knew my son it's like she analyzed my son she the when she was talking to me about my son i was like yeah that is him and i think already i've became at ease because i'm like this woman is gonna do well for my son and I, I was very happy to meet her having the opportunity to meet the teacher before you know the work continues on was a, a very good opportunity for us parents to also you know share anything that we need to share with her in her for her to get to know our child a bit more also on that first week or the second week back i think first week or second week back of september i was so happy because my son was um, he had received a certificate of um, head teachers certificate and it was for compassion and friendship so it was really nice look at it's up here Ooh. yeah it was really nice for him to receive that at the first start of the year and i think that also boosts him to continue to do better and he was so happy and i'm so happy for him because he's adapted very well in this transition and like i've mentioned I get anxious with transition but he doesn't and that for me it balances out very well because I won't need to worry as much because I know he can adapt into it very well so yeah he got his first certificate and he was so proud of himself and we got chips on Friday because we do like a little treat on Friday so he got a large chips <laughs> okay what a girl oh I, I got chips too by the way I got big chips too <laughs> I can actually just say that my son has settled very well in his transition from reception to year one he's doing very well at school he's made loads of friends he's focusing on his education and etc and having a great time and again he's adapted very well into this transition and he's grown so much if you guys could see how tall he is obviously i don't really show him his face that much but if you guys could see how he was and how he is now he has come a long way and you know my baby boy when you see this when you're a bit bigger i want you to know that i am very proud of you and keep doing amazing work that you are doing and i love you very much let's go back to us now yes he's doing very well and different environments different children settle differently and again children are unique and we can't compare children to other children but we tend to do that anyways um <laughs> he's done well he's come a long way from a nursery now in year one it's just like wow 
children grow children grow and he's that he's actually at that stage now where his character is coming out he's 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 dancing more like mama and you know he'll boogie and boogie and boogie so he he's he's basically a mini me like he's a mini me and i'm very proud of him honestly he's my light and shining angel and yeah i love him very much i really do okay we're not gonna get emotional here we're gonna switch on that cta call to action how was your experience for the transition either from nursery to reception or from reception to year one or year one year two how was how did your children adapt into going into those classroom what did you do to support your child in regards to that transition and how did you feel as a parent knowing that your little one has moved a step upwards to another classroom and how did you feel how did you feel when that transition happened and how are you feeling now and um i honestly honestly hope all our children do very very well at school and you know they enjoy the journey of going to school and also they are safe as well i want to tell all the parents out there that we are doing an amazing job with our children our niece our nephew whoever the child may be we are doing a wonderful job and again it's never easy being a parent but we are still going hard for our children and we are always fighting for our children and I just want to tell you all out there that let's keep going because again, children are the future. Thank you again for watching my channel. I honestly hope you guys enjoy the content and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done. For those that have already done, thank you so much again for supporting me through this vlogging um, madness. You know, I will be back doing more um, content, but for now, it's just a busy life and um, do take care. Bye.